Hi, my name is Margaret Johnson. I'm a Canadian Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm sharing with you a double Z fold card with an extra little ad addition here of the strip that pops open. So as you can see, when the card opens up, we have five Santas rather than three. Very, very easy, fun, simple card to make. So your card base is your standard card base, four and a quarter by 11 inches long, scored at five and a half inches, and two and three quarter inches from the edge here. Uh, your mats, you can create any which way you like. For this card here, I've done the, the larger mat at two and nine sixteenth by four and one sixteenth. The pattern paper mats are two and three eighths by three and seven eighths. So I've done that for this section and this section. Here, we've gone with a larger mat. So for the large piece here, it's four and one sixteenth by five and five sixteenths. And the whisper white layer is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Now your strip here that holds the Santas in place is three quarter inch wide by 11 inches long, scored at five and a half, and again, two and three quarter inches from the edge. So this one gets laid down reverse of this piece here. So as you can see, when it's folded, it's the exact opposite. So when I go to layer everything down, I get all these pieces attached. Then when I go to attach my strip, I only put adhesive here and here on my strip. And that way I can carefully lay it down on top, firmly get it in place, and then it opens up for me. Now the Santas, I lay this one down first and attach it to my band. This guy here, I lay on top of him upside down. That way I can just put adhesive on the back and when he's lined up perfectly, I can just put that down and attach him in place. Next, I put this guy down by putting some adhesive on the back and then I carefully line him up over top of these other two guys. Once he's down, I can easily lay these guys down. This uh, middle Santa I pretty much put right in the center of the uh, fold here. And then I added this greeting. This was a little bit tricky. It's also from, from the Cookie Cutter Christmas Bundle. I stamped it on a piece of Whisper White, cut it out with the uh, banner from the Large Numbers Framelit Kit, and then I carefully folded it in half, bent the ends, put some glue dots in behind to really hold it in place, and then that way, as I close my card, it's folding the opposite way. So it all lays evenly down. So hopefully this helps you create your own double Z fold card. They're super fun, pop-up, kind of interactive. You can do any design you like. I hope you have fun with this. Thanks so much for watching.